Hi, welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today we're going to be looking at how to install the management software onto your PC so that you can easily create mapped drives and manage your Synology from your desktop. First of all, we come to the download center at Synology Support. You select which product you have. Desktop Utilities, and you select Synology Assistant. Just download and save that. Run the Assistant and install. Because it's a local machine, it's already found it. If not, you can do a um, connect and actually connect it to a remote machine as well. It's found our connection. We click map. We enter our username and password. Click enter. I want to connect to our test file. Click next. Remember to click reconnect at login. That's an important part. Now you can see I've been doing other tests here previously, so I'm just going to go and call that one Q. So it's similar. I can find it easily. Click next. Enter username and password again. Now this one you do not have to remember. This is just for the local machine. Um, so it will save it and allow the machine access straight away to it. Because otherwise, when you leave the machine and next time you restart, it will then ask for a username and password. If you click remember here, it will automatically remember it, automatically sign you in straight away. The previous one is just so it can actually physically find the device. So I won't tick that for now because it's on a laptop and it does wander around. So I'll click OK. And then you can you can see it's popped up straight away there. But we want to open it straight away. Finish. And we now have access to our new mapped test drive. Now we can use it just like a normal drive, but you can just drag and drop straight into it. But this is obviously all remote data. This is all on the NAS. So on your local network, that's going to be fine. You'll have a little bit of speed impact, but not too much, but if it's remoting um, off-site, then the speed of access will be that of your upload speed. So the drive system would be better for remoting work, and the map network drive would be best for local work, depending on how and what you're doing. Also, a map drive gives it a drive letter, so some programs need that to access particular files. So depending on what you want and how you work, those are your options. Oh, I hope that helped. As always, if you like the video, give it a good thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. All the information needed will be in the description below. Please always leave comments. As always, take care. Bye for now.